Hello everyone, welcome back to Reptiles and Resin. So today we're going to do just a small mold. May have enough left over to do turtle. I hate that that mica powder stained my turtle. But yeah. And I pulled out one of my already made crystals. So, I've already put this in a, a jar. But it's from Stone Coat Stone Coat countertops almost says stone cold <laughs> oh, and it's gold dust metallic and I brought it from Amazon I can't remember how many ounces it is but it's not a lot this is what it came in and it's like gold dust just like the crushed crystal here it's the exact same thing only gold and I have not used this but I wanted to try it and it's powder trust me it it's the same thing but I want to do it just by itself in this little trinket um, mold now the only problem I have with this mold is I know this is the bottom there's two sides and Lord it's got glitter all over it already and that side so you got this side and you've got this side with a little lip now it's not going to sit in or sit over. So I don't know which side to pour. I have no clue. So I'm going to pour this side. So I can just go on and embed this in him. Now. Because I have no clue which side to pour on that one. I, I'm discombobulated. Oh, there go one of my hairs stuck to the tape. Yeah. And I think this crystal of gold is everywhere. Because it is everywhere. When I dumped it out the plastic package, it went flying as well. So, it's all over my board. Okay, so, I halfway mixed this up. It's not mixed yet, but I wanted to just show you what I was doing. I'm going to put, I've got three, three ounces, yeah. So, I'm going to treat it like I do the crushed crystal. Just a little bit. See how it just flew? It just literally. I'm put a little bit more. And we're going to see. Let me put the top on it. Because I think it's lighter than the crushed crystal. I just want to see how it looks. And all. I mean it is fine. I want to see how it's going to look by itself. I'm trying to get the one up off the side here. I am going to put this in the vacuum chamber. Let me sell it. Well, it's gold and sparkly. I didn't put a lot in. I don't know if I should put more in or not. Hmm. I mean, I see it throughout. I don't want it like solid gold. Hmm. I just want to see, is it going to sink? Is it going to float? Is it going to stay like it is? just want to try it out by itself. And then I had a little, like blue crystal already made with some gold so I'm going to just sit it on the top and let it cure inside the resin but I am going to put this through the vacuum chamber Just to, I, I think I'm going to add some more to this and it is literally fine really trying to get it in there and not have it fly away on me if you breathe too hard it's flying just flying away okay now yeah it's all over the place now pretty sure y'all can see that that may have been too much but we're gonna go with it well we'll at least see if it sinks or stays in place and oh yeah by the way the other day I did try glue in my glitter so it doesn't sink and you can put it inside the vacuum chamber with the glue in it and get all your bubbles out. Just keep an eye on it so it don't bubble away. But yeah, you can use it. Game changer. Like Miss Nat told me, that's a game changer. You can add your glue to your resin and glitter and still put it in the vacuum chamber. Yes, you can. I'm not going to do it here because I don't. I want to see if this is going to sink or stay in place. But I'm pretty sure it will because it's such a fine mica powdery, like flaky. I think it's ground flakes. 
but you never know. Or like a super fine crystal. Something. All I know is uh, it is a little more pricier than the um, Unicone Crush Crystal. Because for that little bit, it was like $11 with tax and all. So, yeah. And I'm not even going to worry about that glitter right there. Nope. Because it is gold glitter. I'm not even going to worry about it. I am going to put that there. And it's kind of got a con concave to it. But I'm not going to worry about it. Anyway. I'm going to put this in the vacuum chamber real quick like and get some of these bubbles out and I will be right back. Alright you guys, in the four minutes it took me to, de de to debubble this resin and I'm looking at stuff and I see Mr. Turtle. I think I'm sitting Mr. Turtle on top of here. I'm sorry poor Crystal. I am so, so sorry. But yeah, I think I'm putting Mr. Turtle on top of this. Mm-hmm. I am going to go on and get me some alcohol down in here. Try to squish him around. And I'm going to go on and pour this first. Hopefully, I won't have anything trapped in there. I see bubbles coming up, so I shouldn't. Let's just go on and get that filled off. Alright, I'm not going to dome it just yet. I'm going to leave him right there. So, I'm going with the same side I started with. The one that doesn't have that lip around it. I don't think either side's going to make a difference, to be honest with you. So, I'm going to just put some in here. Oop, that may be way too much. I don't even think we use nothing but a ounce and a half and it is over full. Yes, it is. Probably because that's not pushed down. Probably so. Anyway, I'll take some out there real quick and put you over there. Where's Mr. Turtel? Oh, and I got glitter in there from something else now. Which probably shouldn't matter because it looks like the glitter is floating. Alright, so basically I'm going to just sit him in here. And I'm hoping he kind of weighs it down a little bit there. Well, actually, he did somewhat, yeah, because he ain't no lightweight. Yeah. And he's going to be our little handle to pick everything up. He's got some bubbles coming up. And I only used an ounce and a half. I probably would have used two ounces, but I'm using the other side. I don't think it really matters what side of the lid you use. Now, I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm not an expert. Should I pour some of this over here? I think I am. Hopefully I don't overflow it. I was kind of hoping some of the... The, um crushed crystal, well, the gold crystal would stick to the back of his shell a little bit there. Okay, so I'm going to leave him alone. Let me get a paper towel to get this off my gloves. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a little trimming to do on him. Yeah. Feel like my board has done come on level again. I did clean it and I probably moved the stick out from under here. You know what? I surely did. Yep. I was wondering why it was running. Because I got a little stick up under here. I was wondering why it was running. Now I know. 
All right, so just want to double check for any bubbles. I think we're good on that though, because I don't see any bubbles. Uh, hopefully this stuff will stay in place. I'm going to put a little bit more in here. Like I said, I have an ounce left. He doesn't need any more. I'm going to pour this crystal turtle mold, but I am going to get some tape and just try to see if he has anything stuck in here. And I would be so upset if that orange mica ruined my mold hopefully it did not i'd see it why it wouldn't i don't see why it would it was just mica powder i mean it may have stained it hopefully if, it, if the stain is transferable it'll transfer to this since it's kind of clear all right so i'm going to pour some of this in here into the crystal mold See what he would look like all diamondy with gold diamond dust. See, I think it is sinking. I see a big old pile of it right there, literally. So it may sink. Yeah, see it all piled up right there, literally piled up. Yeah. Oh man. Well, I guess some sinks and some doesn't. Because it's not all sinking. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not all sinking. Oops. Put a little bit more in him to fill him up. He is not all the way there yet. There we go. All right, I think we are good. Yeah, see, he's kind of, it is sinking into the middle. Well, I guess I should have used the glue. Mm, we'll see it, it finished product. All right, um, I just saw my other mold. Is this it? Figured I'd go on and pour the hedgehog as well. But... For this hedgehog, I think I'm going to add a little alcohol to him. What color do we want Mr. Hedgehog Lee? I'm not going to use the Bombay ink, I promise. Um, what about a poppy red? How about a poppy red to go with our gold? Picasso poppy red. Oh, Lord, I'm putting red in this one. It's probably going to stain this one. Uh, I'm gonna gently stir, even though even gently stirring, I just put bubbles all in here, and that was just gently stirring. Darn it! Sure did. Most well, certainly did put bubbles in that bad boy. Well, hopefully we don't get too many bubbles in here. I'm going to roll it around the cup. And try to roll these bubbles into some alcohol. Since there's not a lot in there. And try to pop some while it's rolling around. There we go. You can roll around in the alcohol. Okay, please get in here and get in these little crevices. I don't have enough. But that's okay. I can fill him up later. His little top will be all red and crystally. Yep. Try to make sure I get any bubbles out of here. So yeah, his little top of him will be red and crystally, and I will try to go on and save some from the next batch whenever I do the next project and try to do the same color I will put him over there 
Well, I, well, actually, I can still get some out of here. Let me see. And then the only thing we got to do is wait for unmolding. Oh, well. Still a good little bit in this cup. Here. Well, if I'd have had just a little bit more made up, he would have made it to the top. He surely would have. Going to clean all this off. I would put something in him, but it might affect the crystals. I don't know. What can we put in him? That might not affect the crystals. Um, you know what? Let's put a let's just fill him up with some seashells. Well, not seashells, but some of these regular shells. The regular color shells. Since he's like a poppy red. Let's just put a few in here. Let them sink down. Shouldn't hurt anything. Get him all filled up here. Oh, I stuck my finger in there now. Phew, okay. Yeah, I think we will just put a few of these in here. This is why I like having neutral stuff laying around too, because this really shouldn't fight with the poppy red too much and the gold. So we'll have a seashell hedgehoggy. Only if I could keep that down here and out of his head, but I'm pretty sure these shells are gonna go in his little head. Yep, pretty sure they will. I was trying to keep them out of it and have that part clear. But they're going to go where they want to go. Still don't have enough to fill him. I don't want to fill it too full here. Make sure it's all getting resin on it as well. I don't want no dry spots. See, I just found one there. And those bubbles should start rising up on their own. Yeah. There we go. Oop, yeah, we don't want to waste none. They kind of turn the shells a pinky color. That is something. Hopefully we have resin down in there really well. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, I still got some on the spoon over here. Come on in and join the party, buddy. We don't care. Come join the party. Oh, that's a dry piece of resin. Thought I cleaned that all off. Apparently I did not. Alright, not a drop to spare in this um, resin spot here. Not a drop to spare. We scrape it. Just to keep from making up a half ounce more. That's right. <laughs> Oh, Lord. And you know what? With the rest of this, I could actually just fill the rest of it up with UV resin at the bottom once it's cured. I could. Still think I can get some few seashells in there though, because it's rising, it's going to be packed. And my gloves are all sticky. Let me get you in here. You in here. You in here. And I'm going to spray him a little bit. Spray them a little bit. 
And I, th I think that's out good. While I put a few more on here, that is so good. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oops. I don't know if you'll fit in there, but you're going in there today. All right, and what I will do is, when this gets dry, I am going to put me a little clear layer of UV resin on the back of this to just smooth him out. And that should cure. Oh, uh, you know what? I need one small little piece right here in it. But I grabbed two, apparently. I need one in this little foot, because the other foot's got a little pebble in it. Well, I thought I saw one in that foot. Well, come here. You want to borrow you. Get on over here. That way, every little foot has some kind of pebble in him. There we go. Try to make sure they ain't sticking up too far. Like I said, I will cover it with some resin. So some clear UV resin should be good. All right, I'm done. I will see everyone on the mode. See you soon. Hello everyone. Welcome back. We are ready to unmold everything and see how this turns out. I did top this with some UV resin and cure him. So let's see how our Shelly, um, ooh, my word. Oh, that is, I think this is the favorite hedgehog I've ever done. Oh, wow. Yeah, some of the silicone still coming off of him. Yeah, but eventually it, it just wipes off. Oh, I can look at him. He's so cute. That was an awesome idea. Look at that sparkle. I like the rocks. I wonder how the turtle would look with rocks in him. Oh, I've got to try that next because that is gorgeous. Oh, my word. My favorite hedgehog I've done. Yes, I love it. it took, it's like a pinky tone, actually. Oh, my word. Beautiful. Let's see how Mr. Turtle came out. And I wonder, oh, it did take the stain off. I can't really tell. I think, I think the glitter floated and little went to the bottom. But, oh, my word. Look at that nothing but crystal beautiful love this mold love the into resin molds this turtle is gorgeous kind of wish I would put some rocks in him now let me turn him over I don't want nothing to get in him absolutely um, stunning <laughs> dropping things okay so I'm gonna put these two molds and turn them upside down let's get to this one okay I'm a little confused on this one. Oh lord oh maybe that's why it had the rim because this one's got a rim at the bottom too I don't know I've never poured this mold it's just a little trinket jar mold Well, I like how the glitter didn't sink. It, it stayed, and I like the fineness of it. That is really pretty gold. Very, very pretty. It's a very, it's a nice little trinket jar. I, I like that. Oh, let's see how we did. I probably messed up on this then. If that's the case. Because I didn't do it on that side. Oh, and it's matte because that side is shiny. <laughs> oh, he got a little bubble up under his... Oh, excuse me. I got the hiccups. 
and another one right there. But it still fits on there. I mean, it's just frosted glass on top with the turtle. I wonder if the other side would have been different. Oh well, it's okay because my turtle is not going to where he's embedded. And you could just put a little little um, rubber stopper around it. Not a rubber stopper, but um, darn it, I can't think. Little um, pads to go around. I'm going to trim off this little overage here. Wow, it is soft. Some right there by his little footsie hanging off. But I'm going to leave that. Oh, stupid knife keeps coming undone. Trim him a little bit. I'm just scraping the edge. Get the sharpness off. Uh, there's some spillage up under here. That's just where his little little fin is. There we go. Gotcha. Just take the sharp edge off of it. Try not to get the shards everywhere. Oh, that one can stay. It's right up under his fin there, so you won't see it. Yeah, you won't see that little one. Let's take the, the bite off the edge, basically. <laughs> So where it's smooth, okay. Oh, I still got the shards on there. I think I got it off. Let me pull a piece of Ooh, paper out. Maybe y'all can see it better. So. Yeah, this side is matte, which is the, it's like a two-sided lid. You could use either side. I'm, I'm thinking you can. And here go our tail. And, oh my gosh, the hedgehog is the star of the day. That's all I know. I'm trying to see if I can find my little, oh boy, little bumpers that I always get have hidden in my drawer here they always hide from me because they're so small there they are they're always hiding I like the turtle though and see these just little bumpers um let's see here I'll just put one around each like foot there I guess I could have moved this one up some yeah get another one off of here and put one by his wrong spot there yeah I put three on there and now I guess I could have went in a little bit more but it's not going to fall off. Well, he don't want to come off. <sighs> Hopefully they re-stick. Because they stick pretty good. Okay, that, that's a little better. But it ain't going to fall off now. And I could have did that a little better. But it's okay. Still looks cute as a button. Q 
few fizzy buttons. That's uh, yeah, you don't want to come off. It's okay, they're on there for a minute, yeah. Or actually, I probably just need to. Yeah, I need to add one to those sides there. Keep it from rolling. That's what it is. So he'll have five stoppers. And the next time I pour this, I'll just try the other side of the mold. But I want it to embed Mr. Turtle in there. Oh yeah, that, that's, that's a lot better. A lot better. But yeah, he, he's adorable. Look at him on his little... Oh, let me hold that clear base. I just did this because I want to see how the glitter is. Oh, is that some shard in there? Yeah. But that, that, um, oh, where did I put it at? Oh, Lord, it's right in front of me. So the only thing we use today is the poppy red Picasso ink to make him and the non-dyed shell. And boy, did he turn out to be my favorite in the world. And then we just use this stone coat of countertops gold dust metallic and it actually worked really well now this is a little small jar it fits in the palm of my hand but you could still get huh, there go that thing again still get a lot in him does the turtle fit see look the turtle fits Oh, that turtle would have been pretty on top, too, but could have put a green one on there. I've got a green one that I really like over there. But it's okay. Look at him. He's so cute. I don't think Mr. Hedgehog will fit. Oh, well, no, because his nose keeps hitting it. Never mind. <laughs> but, yep, that was our video of the day. Now I need to try some shell in this because I have a feeling, because this is diamond, too. See how they both shine? Got a feeling he will look good with some crushed shell in him. Maybe I could take a hammer and crush up some a little smaller. Because he's a little flatter. That and Look at his little cute face. Oh, there's a little piece of over sticking off there. And that very sharp. There we go. One there, too. I did put the UV resin on the back of him just to smooth him out because I was not making any resin up. So he has UV on the very bottom. Hey, he's so cute. And I am glad that, that that dye came out from that orange mica. Very happy about Oop, I done hit the camera. Very happy about that. So, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you want something that's gold, that's just like the crush. Oh, my Lord. I tapped it and silver's flying. If you want something that's not silver but gold, this is the exact same thing as this. This, I think, does have mica powder in it. I don't think this does. This is just like basically flakes from what I'm seeing. I could be wrong. This is like a mixture of a little mica and flakes. But yeah, if you want gold, stone coat countertops, gold dust metallics, get you some of that. That is really nice. Really nice. I think the reason why I know about it, I saw um, Glitz and Glitter use it. And I was like, oh, okay, they have a gold one I can get. So, yeah, if you don't watch her channel, go check her out. She's awesome. But most people do. And see, there's still some silicone coming up. There's a piece there. And it just comes right off, though. It just comes right on off. This is so cute. With his little diamonds. 
This is literally my favorite hedgehog I made with these rocks. And there was no bubbles. Well, I got one right there. But that came in at the UV resin. That thing was sickening. I couldn't get all the bubbles out. They, I was like, never, whatever. He, I don't know who, camera's picking it up, but his little nose is pink. It is so cute. I love him. I'm going to turn that upside down. Put him right there. <laughs> so, yeah. And the turtle is still so sparkly after many uses. That's why you don't want to spray him with alcohol. Alcohol, over time, will dull your molds. Sometimes we ain't got no choice but to use some alcohol, but... Yeah, I ain't thought about it, but that, that is nice. It looks like frosted glass. And it kind of matches him because he's frosted. Don't really see, remember I poured a little bit of the thing on him. I don't see any gold flakes on him or... I don't think I do. Not from my eyes. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm going to end this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did... Share it with your friends. Like, share, comment. I love reading all y'all comments. I do get back to you eventually. And everyone have a blessed day. Bye for now.